Hello, my name is Dylan, but you can call me Buttercup. Welcome to Buttercup Yarn Art, a soft-spoken video journal where I play with yarn and share my thoughts. I hope you enjoy this video, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to hear me talk about, please leave a comment to let me know. You've probably already noticed there's something a little different going on today. I finished my flax sweater by tie-dyeing it, as you can see at the neck up here. Um, there's a bit more white than I wanted there to be, but I think it still looks pretty cool. So here's the neckline. When One of the sleeves. Cut the back. It's the back of the other sleeve. I decided this was the back because it has more white you can see all over here. I I tried really hard to get rid of as much of the white as I could, but it just didn't quite work out that way, but that's okay. It's still pretty cool. Get the bottom up in here. Here. A little bit. Let's see more. It's a big sweater and I've got limited space. But show off as much of the uh As I can. Let's flip it over. Got a good shot of my stickers in there. Got the camera a little bit higher up than usual to show as much of this sweater as possible. So here's that sleeve with all of the white that I showed before. Over here. You know, and I did I I didn't use a tie-dye kit. I ordered fiber reactive dyes from Dharma Trading Company. I got soda ash fixer. I got ooh, sorry for that sound. I got urea, I got all of it. I went, I tried to be, you know, as high quality as I could with this because I want these colors to stay as long as possible. And I wanted it to look as good as possible. You know. So, there's the sweater. If you follow me anywhere other than YouTube, or if you know me, you've probably seen the sweater already. But, you probably haven't seen this. This, as it takes up the entire frame, is a blank that I knit up and died as a tester before I did the sweater. So let me unfold that. It's pretty big. I used up all of 
the extra dye, well, not dye, um, all of the extra yarn that was left over from making the sweater and knit this up. And then I tie dyed this first to get an idea of how the colors were going to turn out and see, you know, if there was anything I needed to change. Um, this also wound up having a lot more white than I wanted it to, like the sweater did. Um, I wound up with the sweater trying to chase down as much of the white as I could. And I just, I couldn't, I mixed up, um, as you can see I have three colors of dye going on here. I have black dye, red dye, and purple dye. The purple dye wound up being my main color, so to speak. I wound up, for the sweater, mixing up three full bottles, three eight ounce bottles of the purple dye to chase down as much white as I could, you know, try to get rid of as much of it as I could. And I still couldn't get it all. no matter how hard I tried. Um, and I tried, let me tell you. So I'm going to fold all of this up and kind of use it as a backdrop today for the rest of the video. But um, the blank, what I'm planning on doing is um, using it. I'm gonna rip it out and I have plans to make socks and a tote bag out of the blank. So that's gonna be my background. For today. I hope it's aesthetically pleasing. So that's that. That's finished. I'm very excited. I'm very happy with it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to the other things that I'm going to make with that blank that I tied up. So, next up, I am still working on the thunderclap shawl, which I have here. I finished the first garter rib section did the first garter stitch section, and then things go a little off pattern. It was supposed to be color work section, starting here. I decided not to do the color work. I was really excited about the color work, but I did a few rows. I started it. And I wanted to rip the entire thing out and make socks instead. Because I was not enjoying the process of the color work at all. I was not having a good time. And so, what I decided was that I would rip out 
the few rows of color work I did. And improvise. So what I'm doing now is more garter rib. And I'm going to do garter rib until I run out of the gray, the Oink Pigments Zoot Suit. And then when I run out of that, I'm going to do plain garter stitch with the Creep It Real. This color right here until I run out of that. My original plan did involve doing this in a way, you know, I would do the color work, do the next garter stripe that the pattern dictated, and then I would do the garter rib until I ran out of Zoot Zoot, and then plain garter until I ran out of Creepy Real. That was my original plan. So I was going to go off pattern eventually anyway. Um, but I did it sooner than I originally intended. So, and, and I would like to emphasize that my issue with the color work was not with how the pattern was written or anything like that. Um, it's, I believe it's a well-written pattern. It's a gorgeous pattern. I just was not having a good time doing the color work and I've done this is this pattern uses mosaic color work which I've done before and which I have enjoyed I just was not this time And it happens. So, rather than like my first instinct was ripping it all out and making the yarn into socks, I just pulled out the section I didn't like and figured out an alternative that will still leave me with a shawl. I talked before on this channel about improvising when crafting and you know how I enjoy doing that and how I wish I did more of it. And you know, this is it's just evidence that sometimes you need to improvise, not just because you want to feel a little more creative, but because sometimes you don't enjoy working a pattern as written, and you want to do something a little different, and there's nothing wrong with that. So that's what I'm doing. forward to the next few projects in my queue as well. Um, totally Rad Jess and Nerdy Fibers are running a knit along for the Sorrel sweater. 
right now. And I've decided that I wanted to do that. I ordered some yarn and I'm waiting for that to come in. So I'm gonna keep working on the thunderclap. In the meantime, if I finish that before that new yarn comes in, I can work on the things that I wanna make out of the blank. And I'll, I'll always have something to be working on. Hopefully the yarn doesn't take too long for the sorrel sweater. Because I really want to make that. Um, but that, that knit along is running until June 20th. Um, you can check out either of their Instagrams, which I have a link in the description to join that. I'll also find a link to the sorrel sweater. Put that in the description. So, if you'd like to join in on that too, you can. Bit of a shorter video today, um, a little less formal. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I hope you have a wonderful day.